Hello, welcome to our tutorial. Gender textuality is the shaping of text meanings by other texts. It can refer to an author's borrowing and transformation of a prior text or to a reader's referencing of one text in reading another. So by the way, class, my students from ABM and Yums 11, good day and of course to my students in the unit a wonderful day to all of you so today we will be discussing about um something that is very special and that is intertextuality so what is intertextuality okay so where can we find it so intertextuality can be signified in the form of conversations thoughts, architecture, sounds, and physical activity. So how intertextuality is different to context, okay? So when considering intertextuality class, it is easy to get confused with context, okay? So when texts are making a social comment or referring to an issue, they are not making intertextual references. Take note of that. They are making references to what is to what is or was happening in the world at the time in which it is made. So for example, in songs, Taylor Swift's Taylor Swift's song Love Story makes intertextual reference references to Romeo and Juliet and the Scarlet Letter. Cause you were wrong you, I was a scarlet letter. And my daddy said, stay away from Juliet. So enter textuality in the text we have studied. Most of the texts we have studied have some form of enter textuality in them. On your hand, out there are a few examples just to give you an idea if how easy intertextuality is, okay? For example, Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth is filled with intertextuality from references to Alice in the Wonderland or Alice in Wonderland to Greek mythology. Alice in Wonderland, so Greek mythology, Narnia. Then Saturn or devouring his son. Um, for short class, intertextuality, in on the other hand, has a connection, has interconnectivity connectivity. So say, for example, when we say um, when we discuss about <clears throat> um, personalities, okay, when we discuss about personalities or human personalities that talk about human behavior. Okay, they talk about human behavior. Or shall we say, when we talk about human behavior, we are also talking about human personalities. So it, the two have uh, uh, interconnectivity, relatedness, connectedness. So that, that is what intertextuality uh, um, means. All right, well, let's proceed. Little Red Riding Hood. Little girls, this seems to say, never stop upon your way. Never trust a stranger friend. No one knows who pretty so be wise. Wolf meet lurk in every guise. Handsome they may be and kind. Gay or charming, never mind. Now as then, tis simple true. Sweetest tongue has sharpest tongue. So Charles Pirol, tale repeated, Chaplin Roach is the earliest known printed version of Little Red Riding Hood. It's a morality tale that cautions a little girl to be obedient. Okay, so the Wizard of Oz. So in both, in both these fantasy adventures of, I mean, we can recognize fairies, ruby sleepers, and woodsmen. So in picking up on this, one can see both, both Dorothy's and Ophelia's cast 
or test to find independence and empowerment of imagination. So Cinderella, or Cinderella ate my daughter. There are many references to toddlers and tiaras that would be hard to understand if you had no prior knowledge of this toddler beauty contest. Much the same with references to Disney and the storylines of Cinderella and Little Mermaid. But how can I talk about intertextuality in an exam? So not another teen movie, okay? In an exam, make sure you give a detailed description of the intertextuality reference. But more importantly, make sure you talk about how this reference helps you to make meaning. So summing it all up, intertextuality is when you are able to make or you know to recognize references between text are therefore able to understand a deeper meaning of the idea being raised. So intertextuality class can be found in a number of forms. So while an exam question may not specifically say intertextuality, when it says something along the line of how is your reading of a particular text text shaped by a textual links? You know, you know, it's talking about the I word. So, um, any questions, class? If you have any questions, do PM me. If you have a net connection, if you can do Google search, you may also, um, how do you call this? Uh, you may also search what intertextuality is. Okay, that's simple as it is. Now we will also uh, ask help to Miriam Dictionary as to what intertextuality really is. All right, enter textuality. Okay, the complex relationship between a text and other texts taken as a basic to the creation or interpretation of the text. So the, meaning there is a connection from one text to another. There is, there is an interconnectedness. So that is intertextuality. So thank you so much class for listening. Thank you so much guys for listening. God bless you all. Yeah. Uh -huh.